<laughs> Good morning, Holiday Heights. Welcome to our broadcast. Today is Tuesday, August 23rd. And this year we are going to be doing a program called Character Strong. And it is um, a program that we're using. You'll do it every Friday in your class. And then you will, um, we'll also be talking about it on announcements. So this month, we're going to be talking about the trait respect. So this month, we are talking about R-E-S-P-C-T, about respect. Respect means seeing the good in people and things and treating them with care. Seeing good in others can mean that you look for things you like or appreciate in people whether they are similar or different from you. Treating others with care means listening quietly when others are speaking and responding with kindness. It can also mean helping out when you see a need or standing up for others. Think about how you can show respect today. Our quote of the week is from the former professional basketball, basketball, sorry, baseball pitcher, Mariano Riviera, I don't wait for people to give me respect. I always give them respect. Today, when talking to teachers, friends, or your family, practice showing respect with your words and actions. So this is getting us started with respect. Tomorrow, Miss Miller is going to be giving us some um, thoughts on respect also. So we will look forward to that. Well, yesterday, Miss Ford gave you um, some a lesson on how we walk in the hall, what the Husky way is walking in the hall. Okay, I'm just gonna introduce her. She is dying to be on announcements. This is my daughter, Brinley. Yeah. Okay, now go. Mm. And um, so yesterday, Miss Ford, did a lesson on the Husky way and how we behave in the hallways. So since I was there for that lesson, I decided that I should go and practice these things with classes in the hallway. So let's see how I did. Um, Miss, Mrs. What? Uh, Mrs. Wright, you're not supposed to be messing with the teacher's building board. I'm not, why not? Because it'll rip it. Oh, oh, okay. So, Anetti, did you see, did you hear Mrs. Wright a minute ago? She, she was so funny. Wasn't that funny? Hey, Carson, Carson, what are you going to do after school? You know, it's Friday. Do you think that we could do something? We're not supposed to be talking in the hall. What? We're not supposed to be talking in the hall. Stop talking. I'm not supposed to be talking in the hall? No. Level zero voice. A level zero? What are we, well, what, what am I supposed to do, Carson? Be quiet. Oh. Like, oh. don't don't say anything. Just yeah, at all. You can't talk. Don't. Just, oh, I can't talk. Keep that. Okay, okay. So that's like this. Only in the hallway. Yeah. Okay. 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 Wait. That's not she talked. Okay. Perfect. And it says silent voice in the silent voice level. Did you have a silent voice level? No. No. Are you talking with your friends? Yes. I just wanted to know what they were doing over the weekend. So you should wait till you get to your classroom at outside for recess to do that, okay? Yes, ma'am. The second one says keep hands, feet, and other objects to yourself. Miss Wright, did you have your hands and feet to yourself? 
No. What did you do? Well, I was running down the hall, running my hands down because you know the hallway's bumpy, those oh, bricks, no. and it feels really cool when you go vroom, 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 down the hall. And then the bulletin boards, mm -hmm. I mean, it's cool because there's like staples and you can like play with it. And I get bored standing at the bathroom. Okay, so that's right. Look at your hand. You're getting ready to go to lunch. You just have your hands all over the wall in the hallway. Are you ready to go to lunch? No, that's kind of gross. That's kind of gross, right? And what if that bulletin board that you left with was Miss Ford or Miss Walker's or Miss Wright's? I'd and then you trouble. were messing with it and you've made something fall or you tore something. How would you feel? Really bad. How would they feel? Not happy. Not happy. So where should our hands be when we're in the hallway? To my side or behind my back? Perfect. And then we have one that says walk on the blue line. Were you walking on the blue line? No. Okay, you're smiling. What were you doing? Well, it was kind of fun to like hop off of it and then hop on. And then I was dancing because okay. it's Friday. So you weren't paying attention to the person in front of you either, were you? No. And if no, your mind stopped, could you have hit the person in front of you? Definitely. Definitely. And that could have hurt that person, right? Mm -hmm. So we have hallway expectations for a reason. And so Miss Ford needs you to have a silent voice when you're in the hallway. Keep your hands, feet, and other objects to yourself and walk on the blue line. And you're going to do that because those are our expectations and you are a husky. I don't want to see you in my office again for any of this because there will be consequences next time, young lady. Yes, ma'am. Have a great day. Thank you, Miss Ford. Well, um, so I didn't do so great, did I? But you know exactly how to behave and behave in the hallway. So I will be looking forward to seeing great husky way behavior in the hall. Okay. So for the weather today, it is going to be a high of 84 and a low of 72, and it is going to be raining again. So lots of rain, very thankful for it because our grain, our grain, our ground needs it. I'm having trouble talking today. All right, and now we've got some birthdays. Birthdays, we're going to go all the way back to the beginning of August. And um, we will, if your name is called today, you can go see Miss Ford and get a birthday pencil. And then every day we will be calling out the birthdays. But, um, but we wanted to go ahead and show everyone who had a birthday so far, um, we wanted to congratulate them and tell them happy birthday. So here we go. And if I pronounce your name wrong, I am so sorry. I will try, try my very best. All right, so on August 1st, it was Paisley Narvalit. Then on the 2nd, it was Titus Bat Bates, um, or Bats, Titus Bats. Lydia Garcia on the 2nd. Caroline Harrell on the 2nd. Areli Hernandez Salas on the 2nd. Rowan Sanders on the 2nd. Case Taylor on the second. On the third, we had Samaria, sorry, Shamaria, sorry, Shamaria, Shamaria Hernandez on the third, Altina Shala on the third, Liam Witt on the third, Precious um, Amethuel, sorry if I got that wrong, Precious, on the fifth, so now we're on the fifth, Luke Roberts on the 5th, on the 6th, Serenity Lynch, on the 7th, Talia Hopkins, on the 7th, Ariana Kisaka, um, on the 8th, we had Jackson Edwards, Clyde Kovar, Harrison Mai, on the 9th, we had Smith Dalton, and Malachi Fields. Connor Taylor, and then on the 10th, Ezekiel Kawa and Sophia Peeler. The 11th was Akili Spears, Ava Brownfield on the 12th, 
Hank Elliott and Milo Elliott on the 12th. And then um, Elijah Saldivar on the 12th. Mallory Williams on the 14th. Marcus Anderson and Eli Coleman on the 16th. Anastasia Shamares on the 17th. Um, Ion, Aon, um, I think it's Ion, um, Bernardi, Badari, Bandari, sorry, Bandari, uh, Nova Brewer, Noah Singleton, Dalton Weiss, um, Alani Harris, oh, we passed, so Noah Singleton and Dalton Weiss was on the 19th, Alani Harris and Carol Lopez, and Barrett Strong is the 21st. And Liam Dominguez and Jocelyn Yucata was on the 22nd, which was yesterday. So happy birthday. So then today's birthdays are Justin Barton in pre-K and Ashton Singleton in fifth grade. So happy, happy birthday. Please stand for the pledges. And now for the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And now for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now the Husky promise. I promise to respect and value the differences of others, intentionally work towards improvement, demonstrate responsibility for my words and actions, and encourage others often because I have Husky pride. Well, that's your news for today. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day, Holiday Heights.